Luke 23, 34 reads, Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. But who is Jesus talking about? Certainly not me, and not you. We're good people. We're not like the soldiers who nailed him to the dogwood tree. We wouldn't blindly or fanatically follow a king. We aren't like the criminals who died on either side of him. We follow the rules and the laws of our land. And we aren't like the onlookers who sneered, who fed him vinegar, who voted to save the murderous Barabbas over the, at worst, blasphemous Jesus. We aren't them. Where are we? I think we're exactly who Jesus was talking about. We are both saint and sinner. Nadia Bowles Weber, a Lutheran pastor, wrote, the thing that sucks is that every time we draw a line between us and others, Jesus is always on the other side of it. We can think we wouldn't have been in the shoes of those hecklers or the soldiers, but haven't we been? Haven't we followed an order and we look back and we say, I shouldn't have done that. Haven't we told a joke that when looking around the room and we catch the face of our black coworker, we realize it wasn't funny to everyone in the room? Haven't we used slurs that, sure at the time were acceptable, but now cringe at the memory? And you crave the opportunity to go back and not say gay when you meant to say dumb. When Jesus asked God to forgive us, he meant the people on earth then and the people who would be on earth. And that's us, folks. I am thankful for our loving, forgiving God. I am thankful for the man turned divine who paid the ultimate price for something I take for granted. Forgive them, Father, for no, they know not what they do. Or we do know. And though we can strive for perfection, we're only human. And thank God that Christ was too. He knows our humanness all too well. Thanks be to God and his indescribable gift.